You know what it's like when you get all cocky and you say that something's absolutely fine and then it returns a favour by doing this. That is a Dyson YDK motor. That has burnt out probably after being left outside in winter for four months. Yeah. Got to do something about that quickly before we look at this machine. God, I need to open the back door. It stinks in here. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums and welcome to what should be the final video of the Dyson DC-14 that we left in the garden. And doesn't it look lovely? Apart from the fact that yes, the motor failed. And after seeing what it looked like when I took it out to refurbish it, not actually that surprised. Um, you'll see why in a minute. <laughs> it's basically we're going to get this motor out. I have another one to put in it, although it's currently in another machine, so we've got to strip that apart. But yeah, we've got to do a motor swap, I'm afraid. We flipped the coin and it exploded and killed this motor. We did not win this gamble. So, could be worse. You know, the machine's coming really well, you'll see that later. But for now, let's get this motor out of here. And I have to say, there's currently no brush roll in here because it hasn't arrived yet. Talk more about that later, but yeah, you won't see that come out in this next part of the video. So let's get this done. So here is the motor, and as you can see, it did get wet. That's not actually the reason that it's burnt out. I think the carbon brushes have just soaked up too much water. But it's not actually that apparent. Which segment of the con has gone? But it is gone, and that is all that we really need to care about because we're not having it, so we need... In fact, actually, we may not need these because the, the motor that we're getting already has one. So this is trash. As you can see, we have a pile of bits here. Let me show you the new motor. And where is our new motor? You may well ask. Well, this is a Dyson DC-07. It's another brush control HEPA plus floor tool that I got actually free with my Sebo X1 that I currently have. It was a Facebook job for a ten of the Sevo and the guy said do I want this old Uber in his garage and I said yes please and well here we are it's not worth fixing the wand is all cracked and chipped and very tatty this part is broken and you know this is not worth repairing there's scuffs all over I mean you know the head will be good but it's got a good brush roll a good clutch a, re a red tool. Look, this is the flipping tool that I needed for that other one there. Keep that. <laughs> in fact, I'll probably... Ooh, I might have a full set of red small tools now. But either way, this did work. 
I chopped the cable off because the sods are still all when there's no hose and bottom cord hook on. I think this didn't have a hose or it, it did, but it was broken. Who knows? I that's it. Look at the bottom two of the chassis clips. If your wand on your DC07 ever falls out because of that, because without that being there, it breaks. So let's get this apart. Get the motor out of this and stick it back in the Dyson DC-14 and see if it runs as well as it did the last time I saw it. Wow, I hadn't really looked that closely at this Dyson, but oh, it's not had a particularly lovely life, has it? Wow, blimey, crikey, poor thing has been abused, it's been used wet and dry, the clutch belt is incredibly stretched, and the, the white wheel has melted to get hold of a white wheel and we'll do ourselves a clutch build but the motor seems okay it seems very good it's his its original motor yv220 and where are we it seems fine so what we're going to do is we're going to well, i'm going to tidy up all of this dyson i might keep a few bits in case any of the collectors want it but yeah there it all is look i threw it down towards my desk so yes let me tidy up and then, well, we'll get back to putting the Dyson DC-14 back together. And despite the state of the cleaner it came out of, this motor is very good by the looks of it so will it last long enough for us to fit it before it blows up well back to the fast forward
here we go again, ready to plug the machine in. That is turned on at its switch. Let's see if I was right or wrong about that motor. interlude over the next time you see this in the next scene it will be together have a brush roll and we can finally speak about how it turned out god blimey and as if by magic we have a fully assembled dyson dc14 with a new brush roll fitted and a new belt and a hepa post motor filter because that's all I had. Couldn't be bothered to buy a pad when I had a couple of HEPA filters that needed using up. And it's come up amazingly well. That bin is about as clear as it looks on your screens right now. So it's had a new motor. It was a used second hand motor, but it's had a new motor. It's had a new brush roll. It was cracked before. So I won't take any responsibility for needing a brush on it, but I needed one of those anyway. But yeah, the motor did not like being left out so, so long. It was fine to start with, but obviously, as you saw, it burnt out. But the big question is, does it actually work? Well... <laughs> all I'm using is actually by these guys. I've not had a filter. I've had filter magic bags, but not a brush roll. And as you can see, it's picked up quite a lot of dust, although it all seems to be spattered across the bin. That's possibly just due to static. Due to static. But crikey, I've not seen track marks like that from a Dyson for a while. <laughs> There's a fair chunk of dirt in that bin now. Look, all of the grit that the V11 leaves behind. And there we go, really. Yes, you can leave a Dyson out in the elements for however long you like, but you will have issues, mainly with the motor, as we have discovered. Point of this stupid experiment? Not actually to say, you know, store your stuff outside, but rather... If you see one of these you know, in a rainstorm, it's been out there for a while, or you just don't know how long it's been out there. Chances are, as long as you're willing to swallow a motor, worst case, and then anything else it needs anyway, because the chances are, if it's by the side of the road, it may not be completely fine. Crack on. This cleaned up really well. The bin's filthy now, but obviously it's picked up a lot of grit from my carpets. The only thing I'm slightly not sure of oh, is this brush roll. Look, it's a very nice brush roll, very stiff. But myself and other collectors do agree that patterned brush rolls aren't great. They crack, especially patterned origin brush rolls. I've had a fair few crack. And I've never had a filter magic, and I'd like to sell this with a slight degree of confidence it will be okay. So what I'm going to do is film at some point soon a whole house clean. I shall use this throughout the whole house or the carpets of the house. 
and we'll see how much dirt it picks up considering that I used the V11 mainly with the odd flick around here from something else and I'll see if the brush rod breaks if not it can just be a whole house demo and we'll do it that way so there we go really thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this random project and I am this Dyson DC14 we'll see you soon bye bye